Yeah, never ending. Never ever ending. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. We can't start off right here. This is the very end. We need to go back to the beginning. Oh, you're real funny. That's real cute, let me tell you. Not this beginning. I was talking about the beginning of the series. You know where I go and drive all the way up to Wisconsin to do this epic series? Not all these baby pictures. I mean, look at me. Alright, that was a pretty cool birthday party. Hey, what's going on everyone? Tollywood Bushcraft here. And uh, the seven day extreme winter challenge has begun. We were on our first hike out there. We got my good buddy Justin Van Ferrari at Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. And we got Mark with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. Uh, they are in the in the in the lead right now because they have snowshoes, as I don't. Whoa! There we go. I dug in pretty deep there. As you can tell, I uh, I'm sinking. So they got their they got their snowshoes on. It looks like my first project besides my shelter is going to be jimping up some uh, some uh, snowshoes here. So I am sinking. Tylerwood Bushcraft. Tyler, Tyler Woods Bushcraft. He is going to be making snowshoes really soon, and we're hoping to get you some guys' footage of how deep this snow actually is. Absolutely. As you can see, I'm covered in taco burrs. Well, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm standing here, and you see I got snow all the way up to my chest, and, uh, yeah, we got quite a bit of snow if you can't tell I really got to get some snowshoes made up because it's gonna make for a long adventure <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just keep sinking and sinking <laughs> uh. that's beautiful <sighs> Whew. this is gonna take a lot out of me I'm gonna be sleeping good tonight That's a oh boy. All right, go on up, back up. What do you say, Mark? on video just how big these pine trees are but they're just absolutely amazing absolutely love them as we got uh, Justin Van Ferrari at Waypoint Outdoor Adventures he's a uh, he's the adventurous one he's the one who's been on all kinds of adventures and uh, we kind of want him to kind of take off leading and See if we can guide us into where we're going to camp for the next seven days. There he comes now. This is beautiful. Let me tell you guys, see what I'm looking at right now. There is a lake up here. There is a hidden lake. And uh, it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this beautiful lake. Just hidden in the back of this deep, massive forest. 
A beautiful lake right here. I know where I'm going to be bathing. I'm going to try to get you guys down closer by this water. It's actually very clear, uh, which is a really good sign. We're going to go ahead and, and get a little bit closer shot so you guys can see just how uh, how beautiful it is. I just wiped a bunch of snow on my face. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. How clear this water is. I don't know if this camera lens on this GoPro is going to really justify how clear and beautiful this lake is. You can see we do have some fish floating off around here on the side. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. This whole spot is just amazing. You know, I, I know videos are not going to justify how beautiful it is out here, how clear this water is. With this snowy background, this is, you know, this is that shot that everyone wants. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's almost like uh, Bob Ross kind of painted this in the, you know. You guys remember watching that show when you guys were sick and you had to stay home and the only good show was on was uh, Bob Ross painting. <laughs> I either had to watch that or uh, Bob Barker, The Price is Right. On good old sick days. We got Mark with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles here. It is. This is absolutely beautiful. What we do for YouTube, guys, I could be sitting at home because uh, it's so deep. Obviously, the bigger animals like the deer, they don't have any snowshoes on, so they're sinking. And I hope not. Animals, animals take a path of least resistance. So we see a local deer trail here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through there with my snowshoes because it's really beautiful out here. So as you can see right here, we have some white cedar. Really nice white cedar. So that's the majority of, of the trees that are out here is white cedar, uh, paper birch trees. That's the beauty about you know some of the newer technology is that we have these devices like these drones that can go scout out you know a bunch of bunch of land way before we can. So it saves us a lot of time hiking, trying to find that perfect spot. You know, so uh, shout out to technology. These are actually uh, raspberry uh, roots or plants, whatever you want to call them. 
And uh, Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles, Mark, he was telling me that uh, these will start sprouting up everywhere once you start doing select cut through the uh, woods. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out their little uh, Ozark Trail machete and uh, see how she fares. As I'm doing it, like I said, I'm just gonna I'm gonna walk around and and uh, make sure I push everything down, and then uh, get a shelter going, get a fire going. Then I'm gonna make those snowshoes. And that's what's gonna really pack the snow down, and then hopefully the fire will start to uh, to melt a lot of that snow out of here. Uh, I'm gonna do some sort of a like a lean-to super shelter, and then. Uh, Hopefully in the next few days I can get actually up above, up in the trees and get my main shelter going up there. We're going to take my long piece of paracord here. Bring this all the way around. All right, so we got a ridge line up. Unfortunately, you guys did not get to see me uh, struggle with this tarp because my camera froze up. It was saying that it was recording, but it actually wasn't. So all I did was just unravel this uh, 10 by 20 tarp that you can get at Walmart. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and spread it out. Get a nice area marked out. Go in there, start digging some of the snow out by hand. And then uh, we're gonna start building our shelter on the outside of that tarp. The tarp is mainly just to block the wind from the west and the east. So I, I got a pretty good idea now on, on what I, I plan on doing. So I might I might rearrange this tarp up a little bit. We'll see. All right, so we started about stuff that uh, there was a few items that weren't from Walmart, and these were from uh, sponsors. One of them being a really good buddy of mine, Paul Corona. He owns black and white fire starters. So you guys will be seeing a lot of my fire starting methods using black and white fire starters. He sent me a huge care package, wished me all the best, along with uh, Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles, Mark, and Justin Van Ferrari with Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. He hooked us up on just a huge, massive amount of black and white fire stars. I don't know if you guys have seen some of my videos. Uh, go back through and check out some of my uh, recent black and white fire starter uh, videos I did for the giveaways. There will be a giveaway at the end of the... Alright guys, so this is the uh, ferro rod that came in that 12-piece uh, Ozark Trail camping kit. Uh, that was one of the items that I had got for this challenge. So I'm going to take out my... This is the... I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me focus. Uh, this is that Ozark Trail. Uh, this is one of their knives that came in here. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use that Ozark Trail ferro rod. Which you can see there's no strike marks yet on it. I'm going to go ahead and, and get some of that coating off. And try to get a fire going. So...
So we got a little rocket stove going on now. Let's see if I can show you guys on the inside. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right, off to get some pine boughs. You're not gonna beat me yet, Wisconsin. Not gonna beat me yet.
As you know, we got a little uh, sponsor for this excursion. So I've got a little gift from you on behalf of Infusco. Ooh, you guys get to pick. Pick your mug. That one? Awesome. All right. This one right here is mine. And uh, we just filled our coffee from this morning, so we're going to roast up some Infusco this evening. Indian. There we go. I got you in camera though. Me? Yeah, I'll just zoom in. I can record. There we go. Alright you guys, day one. Uh, didn't go as planned. My shelter's still under uh, construction right now. Uh, so I am, I'm, I'm in here in Mark's uh, Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. I'm in his shelter for the night. Uh, I do have my coat on, but if I take off my wool blanket, you can see I do have my uh, my festive joggers and uh, just a little blanket and it's about five degrees tonight so um, it's gonna get cold that's why I'm leaving my coat on and uh, no sleeping bag no sleeping pad uh, the ground is hard it, this is gonna suck but uh, you know at least I have a shelter for tonight so I'll see you guys in